Good morning. Hear the cows behind me? Look at that sunrise. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Today is Wednesday, September the 14th. And I am going to go try and fish a little bit here on the Owens River. It's chilly. And here's the sunrise looking west. You can see steam coming off the river. It looks like the minarets up there. No smoke. That's a relief. Got a coyote chorus this morning. Alan at the sun. Well, I'm at the Owens River. Below Benton's Crossing Bridge. And it's artificial bait only as of August 1st. So I got my new fly rod out. To probably jinx me. And I got a little brown. I'm a 71 year old woman who loves to camp and travel. Most of the time I take my little schnauzer sneakers with me. I belong to four lady camp groups and one I started in my area. One of the reasons we bought the Mini Winnie was so I could go more on my own or with my lady camper groups. My channel, Crafty Traveler, isn't only about crafting, it's about being crafty smart. When traveling, camping, quilting, and doing crafts. Good morning, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. Another beautiful morning on the Owens River. Today is Wednesday, September the 14th. And we, I woke up early this morning and went out and did a little fishing, didn't catch anything, but I got a new pole, so that means, you know, I gotta break it in. It's artificial lures and flies here only now, as of August the 1st. That's different because two years ago, when we were here, we could use bait up until September the 1st or until Labor Day. Like I said, I didn't catch anything, but it was nice to be out there flipping the fly a little bit, looking at the beautiful sunrise and uh, the mountains with the sun on them. So for today's adventures, Kelly and I are going to go do June Lake Loop. She's never been there. So I'm going to take her around to show her the lakes in the area. She could take lots of pictures. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. As a kid, I used to live out by a lake With lightning bolts, collecting sticks and secret handshakes I was invincible then My heart so pure I had no fear And those were the years so dear. June Lake Loop is located in the Eastern Sierras. It is open pretty much year-round for all kinds of sports, activities, world-class trout fishing, hiking, climbing, road cycling, camping, backpacking, swimming, water skiing, 
and even winter sports including skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, and snowmobiling. It is beautiful in the fall and there's many things to see and photograph. This is June Lake, part of the June Lake Loop. I believe June Lake is the bigger lake of the lakes in June Lake Loop. There are four lakes in the June Lake Loop. June Lake, Grant Lake, Silver Lake, and Gull Lake. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to drive the loop without stops. June Lake Loop is a semicircle loop of four lakes along Route 158 that begins and ends at Highway 395, north-south through Mono County, California. Seven thousand six hundred and fifty four feet above sea level. June Lake, like any good dusty old mountain town in California, has tons of fascinating and quirky history. It has legends of ghosts to alien cults to old Hollywood glamour to slot machines at the bottom of the lake. Turns out that June Lake is weird and haunted. Another interesting fact is that Woody Woodpecker was born in June Lake. Well, maybe he wasn't born there, but the founders who created Woody Woodpecker got the inspiration to create him after a woodpecker was disturbing the peace and quiet of their cabin while honeymooning at June Lake. In the striking north face of Carson Peak rises over the June Lakes area is one of the most photogenic scenes in the Eastern Sierra, gracing postcards and picture books. Carson Peak is a 10,908 foot elevation mountain summit located in the Sierra Nevada mountain range in Mono County of Northern California and looks over June Lake. Because yesterday was such a gloomy, cloudy day, 
I suggested we go back to Mammoth Lakes area and see the minarets. We didn't get to see them yesterday because they were covered in clouds, but today the sky is blue with only a few little clouds and the minarets are in their spectacular glory. The minarets are a series of jagged peaks located in the Ritter Range, a sub-range of the Sierra Nevadas. They are easily viewed from Minaret Summit, which is accessible by auto. Collectively, they form an arete and are a prominent feature in the Ansel Adams Wilderness, which was known as the Minaret Wilderness until it was renamed in honor of Ansel Adams. Now we are headed back to Lake Mamie to see if I could catch a fish. Today is September the 14th and I'm here at Lake Mamie where I saw Grandma Cindy catch her trout and look who's here. Say hi Grandma Cindy. <laughs> we met up with Grandma Cindy and Don today and they're allowing me to sit with them and fish a little bit. It's a beautiful day. We got blue skies today and it's not so cold. Reeling in a fish, Cindy. You don't think of crackers? <laughs> She's on to another one. Yep, he's thinking about it now. He knows he's coming in. Whoa. He's still got he's still there. I did. You don't need to net it. <laughs> That's a nice size. Good one. All right, very good. <laughs> Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video. In the morning, I did a little bit of fishing on the Owens River, but didn't catch anything. But the scenery was so beautiful and the sunrise. I hope you like that and hearing a little bit of coyotes on our tour around June Lake Loop was beautiful. Today the skies were blue and it was bright and sunny and warmer. It was 60 to 62 degrees depending on where we were. And so because it was so beautiful and the day before it had been so cloudy over the minarets and mammoth, I took Kelly back up to the minarets and she thanked me. She thought they were absolutely gorgeous and it was so good to see them without the cloud cover. And then I wanted to go back to Lake Mamie to that spot where we saw Grandma Cindy pull in that big fish and lo and behold there was Cindy and Dawn. So I asked if I could sit with them and fish next to them and they said sure. So I got to know them a little better, and they are a wonderful couple. I got their address so I can send Cindy a thumb drive with the clips of her catching the fish. And lo and behold, she caught another fish. Not quite as big, but very nice. And Don had already caught two by the time I arrived. So that was fun to see and chat with them. I thank you, Cindy and Don. Uh, for allowing me to sit with you and get to know you a little better. I uh, hope we get to meet each other again while camping someday. So, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. And thanks for watching all the way through. There's more to come. In the next video, we visit Manzanar National Historic Site. So, stay tuned.
Thanks for watching.